What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds where you get the information you need right up front and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today we're going to show you just how easy it is to display a Microsoft form on a page and also see the results side-by-side. -side. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's get that timer rolling. All right, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have your form already ready to roll. Like, come on, gotta have something pre-baked here. I'm gonna go to collect responses, grab the URL, copy that link, and you're gonna bounce over to your SharePoint page that you built especially for this thing. You've been waiting for this moment to arrive. You're gonna edit that page, and then you're gonna go in, you're gonna add a web part to that page, and you're gonna add in the Microsoft Forms web part, and then you're gonna add an existing form, and you're gonna slap in that URL, and then you're going to say collect responses. You're going to say okay. And then, ba bam, then you're going to go to that section. You're going to divide it in half. You're going to say two columns. And then you're going to just duplicate this puppy right here. Duplicate that bad boy. Drag it over here. And then we're going to just edit the thing. And we're going to say show form results. And then, ba bam, you did it. Yeah, there's no responses yet, but there will be. All right. So let's slow it down a little bit. Let's breathe. And while we're doing that, Let's uh, remember that you are a great person and people depend on you. So thank you for taking time to improve upon your SharePoint knowledge. Thank you for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Let's get to it. Let's break it down. Okay. So, I mean, basically it's just adding a couple of web parts. Um, I've got other videos out there on like how to create a form how to create a page this is just bringing the two together so there's the super cool web part um, so once you've got your form uh, you might be wondering okay well how do I get the link to the form well if you're in there making edits you can go to collect responses this is just one way there's usually about 17,511 ways to do any one thing uh, I try to show you just one of the quickest routes and someone else might know a quicker route. And if you do, put it into the comments. That'll help us all out. Alrighty. So you grab the URL. You got it. And you're going to bounce on back to, bah, eh, bounce back on over to your page. And I will go ahead and clear these out and, you know, we can just sort of, um, Slow it down a second here, so we'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of that. And maybe let's just go back to the home state of one column. So you've got your, you know, your brand new page. When you have a brand new page, you're going to have, typically, you're going to have a text box sitting there. You can use it if you want. You don't have to. And I do believe, even if you just leave it up there, but you just start editing um, it's possible that it may just rectify itself. Uh, so now how do we get the thing to show up? Well, everything in this whole microverse is, uh, you know, interconnected. So if I've got the URL for that form, I can slap it into this web part and it's gonna, it's gonna produce for me. Okay. So let's get the proper web part and it is officially titled Microsoft Forms. You're going to grab that and you could fire off a brand new form if you want to and just create it on the fly or you can add an existing one. So add existing. It's saying we need the address. You're going to slap that address in there and you're going to choose between collect responses or show form results. You can do one or the other. So we go ahead and hit OK. And I'm thinking, you know what? It might be nice to have the results side by side. I mean, you can go top to bottom, however you want to do it. But if you ever want to show things side by side, all you got to do is edit your section and flip that bad boy to two columns. Now you got an extra column. And this web part, we're using the same URL. So we can just burn a copy of this web part. And then this is the one, there's the copy. And you just drag this puppy right on over here. And then boom, You've got them side by side. Now, in this case, you're going to want to get rid of this text. There we go. 
And now we can just configure this particular web part to show the results. And I guess we should probably give it some results, don't you think? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and publish this. See if we can make it do some stuff. Alright, here we go. Oh, wow. It just selected all of them. What? Why is it doing that? Okay, I obviously need to go fix the form. Um, you're supposed to be able to click or select just one, but let's go ahead and submit. Maybe we'll get some bonus footage and, uh, fix the form. Uh, let's see if we can get it to refresh here. Okay, there we go. We got it. So let's go see if we can fix this form. Because that was goofy. Okay. In order to have this work properly, you uh, can't be facetious and have the same choice five times. They have to be five unique choices. Otherwise, it just selects them all. So now we got the form fixed. Uh, let's go take a look at the page. So here's the page. We'll go ahead and refresh. Try that again. All right. There we go. And we can fill what we want in, click submit, and we still have to refresh the page, I do believe, to see the results. So there is that aspect of it. So keep that in mind. Nevertheless, you've got your uh, form on one side and your results on the other. Hopefully this has been helpful in your journey with Microsoft 365, SharePoint, and Forms, and all the other interconnected pieces. Remember, do the very best you can with what you got. SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.